Hey guys, welcome to my channel! Woo! Yep, it's Saturday. It's Divine Masculine Day. Oh, Divine Masculine. What's going on, buddy guy? Or gal? As it were, right? You could be a man. And your twin flame is a woman or another man. That is possible too, yes. My so-called divine masculine, lovely divine twin flame is a woman. And I am what you call divine feminine. And obviously, I am a woman also. So, you know, it's based on gender. The whole thing, it's clear that it's all based on gender. And we need to heal our inner child and clear our past life trauma and balance our gender-based masculine and feminine energies. That's what it's all about. That's what the internet says. Everybody knows that everything you see on the internet is 100% correct and it's never wrong. So there you go, guys. That's how you fix your twin flame situation. Kurt, are you being a smart ass? Fuck yeah, I'm being a smart ass. <laughs> but it's better than being a dumb ass. And by the way, that's actually kind of a smart ass thing to say. Ha ha, wah wah. Here's the deal, guys. The labels, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine, are not bad. If anything, they are useful because what they are doing is pointing you at the truth. There is an underlying concept that those labels are trying to point you at. It's called duality. Duality, right? Man, woman, light, dark, good, bad, positive, negative, right? I like it, I don't like it, I feel good, I feel bad, past, future, me, you, right? Duality, the mind is duality. Yin, yang, duality. Feminine, masculine, duality. So it's not actually based on gender. It's duality. And that is the key principle of how our very universe functions. Twin flames are the truth of creation itself. They embody that truth, right? Yin and yang, the opposites. Now... How does this help you? Oh, it helps you a lot. Now that you understand that there is this thing called duality, or as Albert Einstein called it, relativity, and that that's how our universe functions, that's also how the mind functions, guess what? There's one other thing, and it's called non-duality. Right. Okay, what's non-duality? Well, it's the one. It's single. It's mono. It's source. It has no opposite. Therefore, it is infinite. And as a matter of fact, that which the universe sprang from, from the point of view of a quantum physicist, that which the universe sprang from was called a singularity. Single, not duality, singularity. That's what the Big Bang emerged from. Physicists literally call that a singularity. It's also at the center of every black hole. Okay, what does this have to do with your twin flame? Ah, the soul. The soul is singularity. It's oneness. It's source. And it's who you really are. And guess what? It's also your twin flame. How about that shit? Now, if you dig deeper, if you really come to know what these concepts are and how they apply to you, the three-part triune being, body, mind, soul, duality, duality, singularity, you can get your twin flame to come back. And you don't even need to talk to them. They'll just fucking unblock you and start chasing you. It happened to me. It happens to all my students. Guys, your twin flame is you. Go watch my free coaching videos if you want to know what I'm talking about. This is ancient, what I am teaching you. 
It is the core of traditional Zen spiritualism. Oh my God, divine masculine. Not having you, lovely divine feminine, is killing him or her. Absolutely heartache, suffering, hard times. Hard times, the five of pentacles, hard times. What am I going to do? Where do I go from here? Despair, destitution, emptiness. What do I do? I must have divine feminine back in my life or I can't go on. That's great news. That's quite a departure from what divine masculine ordinarily does, right? So that's good. We're happy to hear that. Recent past, Divine Masculine, the Seven of Pentacles, patience, growth, knowing that the seed is moving up, moving out of the ground. You've but to be patient. Keep watering it. Mm, interesting way to look at life, Divine Masculine. Look at this. Towards the so-called karmic, the ace of pentacles, and justice in reverse. How interesting. So, divorce, separation, whoops, letting go, and they're actually considering it. It's on the table. It's happening, guys. The karmic is fucking gone. And that could be a job, too. It doesn't have to be a lover. It could be whatever the situation is that they use as an excuse to run from you. Now, towards you specifically, and remember this top row, this is recent past. Okay, Divine Feminine towards you, Three of Wands, Five of Wands, both in the reverse. So, the conflict and the desire to move forward from it, they're not letting that go, guys. They know, I think I just kicked the camera, they know that that is what they are here to do. They are here for you. They know that. They fucking know that. Even as they struggle to get past these, I guess, feelings of resistance. Why do they do that? Why does Divine Masculine always resist the obvious, this beautiful connection that you guys have? And it even causes them suffering and pain and agony. Why do they do that? I'll tell you why, guys. Look at the energy. When you approach this through the mind, which is duality, you get duality, me and you. In ancient traditional Zen spiritualism, they call that separation consciousness or unconsciousness, right? Now, when you remove yourself from the duality of the mind, they call that unity consciousness. It's non-duality. Remember what I talked about during the intro of the video? And if you skipped the intro of the video, you should go back and watch it and listen to what I said. My twin flame is permanently in my life. I'm the world's leading twin flame coach. I'm only telling that to reach, to reach you. I'm not trying to brag. But guys, look at this five of swords. This is exactly what I'm talking about. It's coming out of the reverse. Divine masculine, it's absolutely destructive. It's killing them to be apart from you, but they can't quite bring themselves to do it. Why? Because you, Divine Feminine, are them, and you continue to be stuck in this duality game. You're focused on the person, and I know that's true because you're watching this fucking useless tarot reading. The only reason I do these tarot readings is to guide you towards the truth. I just want you to get on my channel and go watch my free coaching videos so that you can see that you have options. You can do something about your situation. You're causing the separation, Divine Feminine, by approaching this through the separation consciousness of the mind. You're looking at what the other person is thinking, doing, being, having, wanting. That's why they run. You are your twin flame at the level of the soul. You've got to let go of duality, guys. It's that simple. It's that simple. Now look at this. Towards the so-called karmic situation, Divine Masculine, current energy. What did I tell you? The Ace of Cups and death. It's over. No more. It's actually manifesting in physical reality. Hallelujah. Now is your opportunity, Divine Feminine, 
to swoop in. You got to align with your soul. You have to get out of the duality of the mind. The mind is not bad. Its job is to be duality, but it cannot help you with your soul. Guess what? Your twin flame is your soul. You got to go in there, guys. Your twin flame is inside. They are you at the deepest level. They are the awareness. You have to increase your awareness. Now look at this divine feminine towards you. What have I been telling you? The eight of cups in reverse and the five of cups in reverse. Divine masculine has this notion to move on from you, but they can't fucking do it. They're not going to. They can't move on from you because they are you. They don't realize that consciously the way that you do, but they know it, guys. That's why they can't move on from you and they're not fucking going to. You just have to align with that energetically. You are your twin flame. It's inside, guys. You are one being. It's so simple and beautiful. Oh my goodness, guys. Let's do this oracle card. And as always, right now, go to my website and sign up for my introduction to the journey course. It's not expensive. And right now, all the way through the month of July, 25% off my already low prices. It's, so, it's ridiculous how little money I charge. Some people would say, somebody just told me that yesterday. One of my students, they said, you should be charging a lot more money because you are giving so much. And I said, I know that, but I'm not gonna do that. I wanna help people so bad. And as a matter of fact, here's 25% off. Go to my website and enter the coupon code MURICA, M-U-R-I-C-A. If you don't know what I mean by that, just look in the description box below. In observance of Independence Day here in beautiful, sunny America, MURICA, M-U-R-I-C-A. Get 25% off when you pay in full through July 31st for the Introduction to the Journey course. It's already, it's already not expensive, and you can save even more money. The Introduction to the Journey. 10 hours, over 10 hours, over 10 hours of instructional videos that you can watch again and again, and you get to keep them forever. I will give you action steps you can implement right now to start shifting energetically out of the duality separation consciousness of the mind and into the unity consciousness of the soul, which is your twin flame, thereby bringing all the joy and blessings into your life, being your best, most amazing self, I know that sounds too good to be true, but it's fucking not. It happens to all my students, guys. Go to my website, read the testimonials from my students for yourself. It happens daily, guys, daily for my students. And the best part is what you become. And oh yeah, your twin flame won't leave you the fuck alone. They will not leave you alone. That sounds like a nice problem to have. Yeah, wouldn't you like to have that problem? Of course you would. Go to my website and sign up today. After you're done watching the instructional video course, you and I get to talk either in a one-on-one -on -one or in a group setting on my Get Your Twin Flame Spiritual Coaching System, The True Spiritual Journey, and the alternate call group called Detox and Ascend. Guys, I got all the tools. You can talk directly to me or my two coaches assisting me. There's the secret, closed, private Facebook group not my public New World All-Star group, but the private group. Nobody can see who is in there or what we're doing in there. You can get in there and ask all your questions any time of the day, no matter where you are in the world. The coaching calls are recorded. The times are staggered, so no matter where you are in the world, there should be a call time slot for you to hop on. You can just listen. You don't have to talk. You can just listen. Most people do. Most people just listen. There's a little hair right there. And that's not all, guys. That's not all. I load you up with tools, resources, and I have payment plans. If you cannot afford my already very low prices, even with the discount, no problem. I have payment plans, six low monthly payments of around 60 or 70 bucks, and you get full access up front with your down payment. Oh my God, it's right here. Which one is it? It's that one. This little guy right here. Divine Masculine Brilliance, the Ace of Crystals. That is a really pretty card. I just like shiny things. Look at those beautiful crystals. The Ace of Crystals, Divine Masculine. Let's see what the book has to say about Divine Masculine today. Hey, hey, the Ace of Crystals. Let's see. 
That's the Major Arcana. Da, da, da. Crystals, Ace of Crystals. There it is. Brilliance. Message. The formulation of pure consciousness. That's what the soul is, guys. Your twin flame. How about... Dude, this oracle is on fire. We are so keyed up to this oracle. That is that's unbelievable. The form, the formulation of pure consciousness into an idea is symbolized by the ace. The citrine of sunburst represents the awakening. Here, let's take a look at this card. Represents the awakening. Is this thing going to focus? Sorry, I got to pay attention. The awakening of your mind, a flash of insight. Aha, now I see you are cutting through darkness and clouds, symbolizing unawareness and confusion. The diamond brilliance of your ideas emanates a light that is inspiring, clarifying, stimulating, and revolutionary to others. Your natural brilliance has shone through. Believe in your unique genius and produce from it. Guys, son of a bitch. How about that? Divine mask. That is so unbelievable, guys. It's killing them. To be apart from you, to be separated from you, it's fucking destroying their heart. Three of swords. Look at this. Towards the karmic, lots of changes, guys. The Six of Pentacles, but it's next to the Page of Wands in reverse. Exactly. That shit is going... I'm not even going to give an inch to this person or situation. It's fucking over, guys. And then towards you, the Seven of Wands, but it's next to the King of Cups. Exactly. So, when they approach you, you're going to notice a big change. It's going to be, I'm sorry. It's going to be, I fucked up. What can I do to make you happy? Divine Femme. Guys, that's... Oh! I love that. I love seeing that kind of shit. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button. And please don't forget to hit the bell notification icon button when you subscribe. Because if you don't hit the bell button when you subscribe, YouTube does not give you notifications. Whenever I post one of my beautiful card reading and instructional coaching, free coaching videos... So please hit that bell button, guys. I'll be back tomorrow for Divine Feminine. Have a terrific Saturday. I'll see you then. Bye.